What's good, everybody? Hey, check it out. Guess who's back? It's Robert from Robert's House of Cheesecakes, I'm right? Back. Yeah, he, back. hey, no joke, he back. Now, you guys remember he made, what did you make before? The name is just so long. The last cake I made was the caramel cinnamon crumble cheesecake. Got it? Anyway, look, had some great success. People reached out that was out in the city of uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas, you know what I mean? Uh, they got him to make a few cake, you know, cheesecakes for him and all of that. But before he left though, he kept talking about this. What is it now? Okay, so it's called the Creamy Crack Caramel Bacon Cheesecake. Listen to that. You know we had to bring him back, right? You know, anything with bacon, you're talking about sweet and savory, mm. we got to try it. Now, if you guys look, there's a whole lot of ingredients right here. I'm not even gonna say a whole lot, because it looks like this right here kind of like simplifies it. You know what I mean? Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but check this out. This is his show. I asked him to come back. This is by, by uh, popular demand. You know what I mean? I'm Absolutely. gonna say it like that. So listen, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your thing. Absolutely. What we doing? Okay, so I just wanna go over the ingredients with you before we start putting things inside the mixing bowl and everything. So we have three blocks of cream cheese right here. Let me, okay. I'll grab these. All right. So look, you know what I'll do? I'll just help out right now and just be okay. a sous chef. How's that? Absolutely. All right. There so you go. Three room temperature, right? Then we have our sugar. Sugar. Sour cream. Three eggs. Vanilla extract. The real thing. Crackers for the crust. And I don't tell nobody what I use. It's a secret. You can use any kind uh, of graham cracker crust you want to use. I was wondering. Hey, he's not lying either. Last time he was here, that's just where it was. Ginger at. snaps, right, whatever right, you okay. like, you can use it, okay? okay. Um, but I will tell you this. The cookies that I use for my crust, you don't have to add any sugar to it because it's already sweet. So it's not like you have to add sugar. And then look, this is a piece right here to make me smile. Absolutely. Check it out, we got that thick cut bacon. And then we have our heavy cream for the caramel. Right. And then that's our food coloring that I use okay. depending on the flavor that I'm using. You know, that's it. And we got a spring form pan and then we have Talk our- Talk to him, tell him what size spring form pan. Okay, so this is an eight inch right. right here. So if you want to make an eight inch cheesecake, you're definitely gonna need three blocks of cream cheese. If you wanna do nine inch, four. Uh, if you wanna do a 10 inch cheesecake, five. Okay? So you just take and that's what it, So explain to them, look, that's what it do have the height. Right. You know what I mean? Because of, look, it gets wider, then right. I make a flat cheesecake. Right, okay, so first things first, we're gonna take our spring form pan and we're gonna detach the size of it from the bottom part because what hey, we're gonna do is. You wanna know what I thought you were gonna do? Mm -hmm. I thought you was gonna have this up like this. Mm -hmm. Now listen, they do make these to fit in here like that, but I see why. If you do them this way, mm -hmm. and lock it down, and there's right. no... And see, it, it's right. easier when you okay. separate the parchment paper from the cheesecake. You can just pull it off and just put it on your cake board. Okay. You know, so, yeah, so that's why So these I'm are doing. what I call, like, what you're saying is like right. a pro tip. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna line the parchment paper like this. All right. And then I'm gonna take the side of the spring form pan and I'm going to lock it, okay? All right, so I think this is cool for everybody to see because just the fact, like, if you never even use the spring pan, you know, or this technique right here, you guys need to check it out. I'm gonna hold it up and show it like this. Right. See how I locked it in? Look, I can hold it. Exactly. So another thing I'm gonna show you too is because there's like some space in between the parchment paper and the, the bottom of the pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock this again. And then I'm just gonna press it down okay. so that the paper is like right on top of the bottom of the spring form pan. So gotcha. now we're good right here. So next, AB's gonna melt some butter uh -huh. so I can add the butter to our crust. Okay, you want it to be like sand, and I'm gonna show you. Man, look at that, look at that butter right there. So we got our melted butter here. Yeah, man. I'm gonna take a little, not too much. Like that should be good right there. Okay. Get the butter all around the crumbs. Right, so this is the part when he said that he wanted it to be more like a- uh, Sand. Like, like sand, yeah. like wet sand. Yeah. I got a fish tank made, so I know exactly what that mm -hmm. feels like. So what I'm gonna do is, Preheat the oven. We want to preheat the oven for at 350 degrees, right? So let me start that now. Okay, so now that we have the butter inside of the crust, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump, and I'm just gonna take my hand and I'm just gonna press the crumbs around the spring form pan evenly. Now, one of the things you guys can do is you can get yourself 
a bottom of a, a square glass or something like that. Yes. Just a square bottom glass, I'm right. gonna say. Equally level and you can just go ahead and just, yeah. you know, tap it tap it all the way around just to get it that way. But, so look, we'll show it over there to that so, camera. Just like this. Right. Okay. Nice and evenly, make sure you have a nice amount in the center because that's very important. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about four minutes, all right? So go ahead and put that in the inside. Look, I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna mess with everybody out here. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Ah, <laughs> but you can set a timer for five minutes. Now, here, let me give you guys a real pro tip. I don't really say it like when I be baking right here, but if you guys take a look right here, I always keep myself some soapy, hot water, right? And what do I do? I wash my dishes as I go. You know what I mean? Because when I'm done in the kitchen, I'm done. Okay, so what he did just now is he took this out, you know, five minutes when is it, you know, the five minute timer. You guys can see it. It's a little bit on the hot side. And it smells okay. good too. But that, it does. Ooh. It smells incredible. It smells very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside of the uh, refrigerator. So now we're gonna get down to the important stuff, our cheesecake batter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one package of cream cheese. And it's already nice and soft. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lock this up and I'm gonna put my stand mixer at about between a two and a four. And you just wanna let the cream cheese mix in a bowl for a couple of minutes until it's all nice and smooth. And then after that, then we'll start adding our other ingredients. Okay, here. so are you gonna start with uh, sugar? Yes, sir. We're gonna yeah. start with a cup of sugar. I like to just pour it slowly. Exactly. Okay, so this is a half cup. Let me go back okay. in. A little bit, put a little bit more in there. Now, if you want, you can increase your speed a little okay. since you have your sugar in there ready. All right. Just for a couple of seconds, not for a long amount of time. Then I'm gonna decrease the speed back down to a two. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our vanilla. So, AB, right. if you wanna go ahead. So about a tablespoon, correct? Yeah, yeah, about a tablespoon. All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, just increase the speed a little. And now I'm gonna decrease it back down to two again. And then AB, we're gonna add our sour cream. You can put a couple of scoops inside it. Very good. Add a little more. Right. Add a little more. But don't forget, you guys, the full ingredient list will be on the on my website. Perfect. You know what I mean? So you guys won't be doing the same thing that he and I are doing. So at some point, you wanna take your spatula and I'll get a spatula from AB once he's done rinsing it off. Um, because it's very important that you stop your mixer and you open it up and you lift up the top piece and you take your spatula and you get all inside of the bowl. At some point in between adding your ingredients, you definitely want to take a spatula and make sure that all the cream cheese. What'd you call it, a spatula? A spatula. I'm a oh. New Yorker. Okay. Born and raised. Hey, Shout easy. out to New York. So now that I've already done that, I'm, you know, the cream cheese on the bottom is incorporated. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start mixing again before I, I add my eggs to it. Okay, three eggs. Now listen, mm -hmm. some of the people that follow me, they were telling me, AB, don't be cracking your eggs in there. What happened if you got one egg that's bad? I say, I come from a big city, right? Look, this, I come from everywhere I go, it's like a concrete jungle. They got procedures. I ain't never had a bad egg ever in my right, life. Right, right, right. But one of the things they do say is, you wanna crack it, make sure you don't get no shell here, and then drop it. You know. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I, by the look of your face, mate, look. All you can do is prep. <laughs> Pray you don't get a shell in there, you know. You know what I mean? But look, we got a good crack there. There you go, perfect. So we're gonna do one at a time. Oh, one at a time. Yeah, got one it. at a time, there you go. All right. All right, so now we're gonna do the next one. All right. The second one. Now we're about to add our third one. There you go. So now that our eggs are incorporated in the cheesecake batter, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase our speed. I'm just gonna stop this because I see some cream cheese that's sticking to the side right. of the bowl. I wanna make sure that it's all incorporated. Now we're just gonna mix a little more and this cheesecake batter is good to go, y'all. We're gonna start with the creamy crack caramel. So AB, if you can. You if you, what's that? Creamy crack. Creamy crack. That's right. Hey, it's creamy. Creamy crack corn. It's crack because it's, it's like an addiction when you eat right, it. Right, you know right, what right. I mean? So the name serves its purpose. So right. we're going to add a cup of sugar. Two half cups. Yep. There, there you go. All right. Once we get this started, put it like on a, a medium heat. Medium heat. There All right. You so know, what you're doing is you browning your sugar now. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to melt my sugar. 
And something I wanna share with you all too, like if, if you ever make caramel and for some reason, your sugar just like clumps up all into one piece, there's nothing to worry about. All you have to do is just keep mixing and mixing and mixing because eventually the sugar is gonna melt. So it's nothing to worry about. So if that happens, please don't get discouraged. Okay, so obviously we didn't switch sides, right? I said I wanted to, you know, I don't mind being a sous chef, so he said, let's start doing some of that heavy lifting then. It's a teaching moment, that's all. Right, right, you know, I got it. a teaching moment. So I want you guys to come in here and take a look at this. Look at how it's starting to, you know, separate. Well, it's actually starting to melt, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and when you all see that, that's a good thing. That's what you want because your, your sugar's going to turn into like little crystals. And now you can see the color starting to change a little. All right, we're getting close to that amber color now. Yeah, that's perfect. So remember he was talking about the color? The amber color. There it is. Let me it's just, coming. It's coming. So the two goals you want to achieve when you make a caramel before you add your heavy creamy of butter, you want very little crystals left inside your sugar. Very little. And you want the amber color to start the show. And it's getting there now. Okay, look, That's perfect good. right there. That's perfect. We're so good. we can take it off the heat right now. Right. Yep, we can take it off the heat and we can add some butter to it. Okay. Okay. You're not gonna add too much butter. That's good right there. Now, look at this, y'all. Get in here, look. It's starting to look like caramel. That's good right there. And now we can start adding the heavy cream. Ah, oh, yeah, look. All right, All right. So adding the heavy cream slowly. All right. Now, you remember what I was telling y'all earlier? Now, see, you got that big clump right there? No worries at all. We're just gonna keep stirring it and stirring it until that clump of sugar that's stuck to the, um, the whisk. whisk until it melts, so it's no problem. Okay, so listen, our caramel, the creamy crack caramel is done. Uh, I put it inside of a measuring cup, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so we can cool down and, you know, kind of thicken up a little before we mix it up with our bacon. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our batter, and we get ready to start baking this cheesecake right here, finally. Hey, hold on, homie. You know, let me get a little bit of that. Oh, hold on now. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. All right, there you go. There we go. All right, there you go. I'll tell you all if the cheesecake is All right. So normally, like, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of my batter, okay? And since I like to give it some presentation, being that we're going to make a creamy crack, caramel cheesecake. I'm gonna use some brown food coloring. So now that's done, I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna dip it inside this extra butter that we have. And I'm just gonna... You know when, okay, I thought you were gonna use yeah. a whole new set. Can nah. For one second? Mm -mm. Just grease the sides of the spring form pan. So therefore your cheesecake doesn't stick to the pan. You know, this is what I like to do. You know, and it works for me. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add. Now you see how you're moving now, folks? Now you can see that we're moving in real time. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, this is, it was a lot of talking, but you gotta be able to explain. This is a tutorial. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But once you made this, you guys will find ways to like do things your way. And it comes out like, I can't, you, you can, I can already tell you it comes out amazing. You know what I mean? But you really give this a chance. Don't let this overdo it for you and make you think like, hey, I don't want to try this, it's too much. Oh no, you gotta try it. And you know what, listen, if you mess up, trial and error, okay? Just like me. Before, you know, I got the hang up baking cheesecakes and everything, I made a lot of mistakes, trust me. Now, as you see here, we're gonna do one color at a time until we are done completely with our so batter. So you don't care how it is, it's just like, you just put it in there, mm -hmm. however it mixes, how yep. it mixes, right? Because I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do when this is all done. I got a little toothpick right here, okay? Okay, so I remember this from last time. Right. right. So I'm going to just take my toothpick and... Ah, uh, so this is how we get that little... Yeah, you can design. just make like little, you know, designs or whatever. You know, just to make it look nice and, you know... Hey, when I make this one, I'm going to mm -hmm. put A, B in there. I want you to show me how you're going to do that. <laughs> I got to put A, B. I got to figure it out. You'll figure it out. I'm sure you will. All right. See, there you go. So now... Before we put it in the oven, we're gonna wrap it in foil. 
Okay, so look, this is what the 404. Now this is gonna make sense to you. This is called a water bath, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna put some water over here. Am I saying that right? Absolutely. Right, and the aluminum, remember this was a spring pan. Spring Me form, yeah. Spring form, so mm -hmm. meaning we could take this loose. You don't know if that's completely sealed or not, but this right here, if you get one solid piece, right? Now, I'm gonna let you do it however you do it. Okay. You know what I mean, but. Right. You understand that? Look, now it becomes, it won't let no water get in the bottom and you know, spoil your, uh, the crust or nothing like that. Right, so you just take your foil and just make sure that the foil is completely over the spring form pan because you don't want the water to um, seep into the bottom of your pan because then your crust is gonna be soggy and you're not gonna be happy about that. Okay, so look, he he got it all double folded up as if we was about to raise the water way up here like that. You know, he using the baking sheet anyway. You know, baking pan, so look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm getting ready to go ahead and put some water in here. All right, so I'm gonna bring it right here. I'm just gonna add some water to it. Right, just to keep that yes. moisture in there. Absolutely. And what we're trying to do is keep the cheesecake from cracking. And you know what, that's good right there. That's, that's it right there, right? Perfect. So if you go ahead and open that. Ab now explain to him about the time. Me personally, I like to bake my cheesecakes for two hours in the oven, okay? And I like to bake my cheesecakes at 350 degrees for the first 10 minutes, okay? And then after the first 10 minutes, I like to decrease my temperature down to 275 for an hour and 50 minutes. The worst thing you can do is rush your cheesecake. You don't wanna do that. You want your cheesecake to take its time and bake. Okay, folks, look, now this is where we come home, you know, more so like to my side, right? Listen, we finna go ahead and do this baking. Now we getting down to the nitty gritty. Now let everybody know, look, the pan was cold. I got heat underneath it. I'm just starting off this way. <laughs> Okay, look, so check it out, Robert. We got this bacon right here. Now, you didn't have me make a lot of bacon. I know you said it was up to me, so I went ahead and made the whole pack. And that's good. That, that, you know that's that's I mean? good right there, absolutely. But look, this is what I'm gonna do right here. You know, just to grease off of it. Get some of the grease off. You know, it just doesn't make a difference, you guys, because look, whether they break. Now, you make them as crispy as you want to, or as soft as you want to, right? But look at this right here. All right, okay. so look, I'm gonna cut some of these down. You tell me, is this the right size, right? Okay. So. It's perfect. Okay. Oh, perfect. Sorry. Okay, folks, so look, as you can see, pulled out the caramel. We cut up, chopped up all of the uh, bacon. Now, this right here is what we call movie magic, right? That's this right. This is a movie cheesecake. That's right. This is the one that was already prepared. It had this on the top, so if you look, just got a little bit of a, it messed up a little bit because of the foil was on the top, right? I'm gonna just set this off to the side. Just to, for the sake of the time of doing this video, we just wanna show you how to do it, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and let them, I know you're gonna need that. All right, so now we, we, now that our bacon is already chopped up, I'm just gonna add all of that. And I'm Thank just you. gonna mix the creamy cracked caramel. If you guys say that you don't know the definition of sweet and savory, something is wrong. This is it right here. That's it right there. This is it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put this back in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Once we take it out, we'll be ready to slice it. All right, so look, check it out, folks. It's been about 30 minutes that it's been in there, but look. folks listen if that is not a masterpiece i don't know what is i got a chance to like hit the, <laughs> the side of the spring pan i'm gonna just tell you right now bacon and caramel with a little cheesecake mm. <laughs> hey so look don't let me do that do your thing right i'm gonna let you do the honors on this one ah okay This is the kind of cheesecake that you and your cousins fight over at the family reunion when you got the last slice. Like, who gonna have the last slice? This, mmm. 
Listen, I'm gonna ask you guys to do one thing. Some of you guys might not understand about the sweet and savory, and then some of you guys do, right? Just don't eat this with your brain. When I tell you this right here is fire, this right here is fire. Now listen, this is Robert, better known as Robert's House of Cheesecakes. You guys can check him out. If you guys are in the Dallas area, you guys tapped out and you know reached out to him before and got some cakes from him, you know what I mean? Go ahead, I promise you, try this. Now, we gave you all of the ingredients. Everything is on my website. His whole information is right down here where you guys can see it. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you know what we're about to do. We out. Peace. Peace.